Today we will determine the sugar contained in urine by using Benedict reaction. To perform this experiment, pipette out 5 ml of Benedict reagent from the Benedict bottle and slowly transfer it into one of the test tube. We have taken two test tube, one for urine analysis and second for glucose analysis. After transferring the Benedict reagent, Close the container tightly with its cap to avoid any spoilage due to accidental event. Then we will pipette out 5 ml of freshly collected urine from the pipette. A measure amount should be clear, there should not be exceed more than 5 ml or less than 5 ml. If you are not sure with the quantity of urine, pipette out and retake it up to 5 ml marks from the pipette bulb. Once you are assured about the quantity of urine sample, we will transfer this urine sample to test tube in which we have already taken the Benedict reagent. While transferring urine sample to the Benedict reagent, one thing should keep in mind that urine sample should be poured very slowly or it should be poured through the wall of test tube. After transferring the sample, you can see we can observe two slightly different layer in under the test tube. So we will shake it slightly to mix them properly. Once this solution has been mixed, now we will clamp the test tube with the test tube holder to perform the further experiment. This will allow to easy in handle. Now we will ignite the split lamp and place the test tube over the flame. We have to heat the test tube up to 2 to 3 minutes slightly above the flame. Tilt the test tube towards your left or right to avoid any pumping effect. And you should not keep the test tube upward direction facing your face. We will heat the test tube for 2 to 3 minutes and you can easily observe the change in color. Firstly the color of solution was blue and now it is slightly turning into green. This color change shows the amount of sugar present in normal urine sample which we have collected just before 5 minutes. We will allow it to cool for 5 minutes. Once the solution has been cooled, we will allow it to stand properly and we will repeat the same procedure with the sugar sample. Pipette out 5 ml of Benedict reagent and transfer it to the second taste tube. We will observe the changes of color in the presence of glucose. After transferring the solution of Benedict reagent, we will take 5 ml of glucose solution from the beaker. Here we are taking glucose just to show the effect. Same principle can be applied if you are not sure about the quantity, pour it back and retake it. The desired quantity of glucose solution from the sample and transfer it to the taste tube already containing Benedict reagent. The whole process will be same as applicable with the urine sample. We have to heat it up to 3 minutes and cool it for 5 minutes. Now again we will ignite the split lamp, place the taste tube over the flame and heat it gently. Never allow taste tube to stay in direct contact with flame more than 30 seconds. Try to displace it and try to place it occasionally. Once test tube start heating, the color of test tube solution will start to change. Here it is pure sky blue color. Once it will get heated, the color will start to change from blue to green, green to yellow and yellow to orange then brick red. The change in color of solution indicate the percent of sugar present in urine sample. Here we are using pure glucose solution, so 
this will be changed up to its maximum level that will be a brick red color now the color has started to change you can see on the test tube the color is slightly starting to change to a green color green color indicate 0.5 to 1 percent of glucose in sample now on further heating the green color is now turning into slight orange at the top of the test tube if we continue heating it is starting to change to orange color it is a slightly orange plus green color mixture now on further heating if we continue heating this will change into a pure orange color as you can see on the screen of your display the solution has been changed to orange color this indicate presence of glucose on further heating this will change into a pure dark brick red color this indicate more than 2% 2 to 5% of glucose in a sample if we compare our both sample we can easily observe the changes here i am going to show you the first one sample of urine and this is a first sample of urine it is in green color and second in red color observe